All right, so now we've got a Copilot instructions file created to keep the AI on track when it comes to adding code and features. I want to start using Copilot to flesh out the application a little bit. So we'll be making some kind of shopping list application right now, and we'll be doing that in logical steps, tackling one feature or one section at a time. And that's the way I generally like to work with AI when I code at the moment by breaking things down into smaller parts that we can work on individually, then just bring them all together. And I think that way I get a nice balance of granular control over the individual features and also automation slash code generation from AI. I think it's also less overwhelming to work this way rather than just saying, make me this application, go. And it keeps you as a developer more in the loop as well because you can much more easily track and oversee the changes as they happen. And you can dip into the code yourself to correct the AI when you need to, or just to make some personal edits that you want to. So that's the approach I like to take, and it's what we'll be doing to make this application. And that's also where version control becomes essential, because if a particular feature or section of the app goes off track, you can easily revert to a previous commit or even abandon a feature branch entirely without it impacting your stable code. And this is especially helpful when you're collaborating with AI tools like Copilot. Now, this is not going to be a deep dive into Git. And if you want to learn about version control from the ground up, I would highly recommend you check out my Git and GitHub crash course, which I will leave a link to down below the video. But when you scaffold a new Next.js project, it automatically initiates a new Git repository within the project for us. And we can just start making commits and new branches within this repo. So you can either use the terminal or you can use the source control tool in VS Code, which comes with some nice co-pilot features. So I'm going to be using that. Now, I already added a bunch of changes from the last couple of lessons to strip back the content and add a new light and dark mode. So I want to commit those changes now to the main branch. And I can do that by adding a commit message right here and then just hitting commit. But remember, whenever you see this little sparkle icon in VS Code, it basically means Copilot can get involved. And in this case, if we click on this icon, uh, Copilot will look at all the changes in the code that we've made since the last commit, and it's going to generate a commit message for us. And once it's done that, we can just hit commit and it's going to commit those changes to the branch. All right, so now what I'd like to do is add some basic styles for the application for things like buttons, cards, paragraphs, etc. So I'm going to start a new chat and I'm going to go to edit mode or rather agent mode. You could use edit mode if you want to, but I'm going to paste in this prompt. Can you make some base styles for elements and UI components like inputs, buttons, cards, links, headings, paragraphs? Can you also make dark mode variations of each? I'm going to hit send and see what happens. All right then, so it made all those edits and it also made a page for us which is going to be forward slash components, I think, so that it could sample some UI components on the page. And we can see those in a browser. So before we accept all these, let us now preview this in a browser. But you can see it got rid of a lot of the CSS and started afresh and added all of these different components or these different classes. So let's see what this looks like. All right, so this is the home page, which looks a little neater, I think, and the light and dark mode still works. And now if we go to forward slash components, which is where it placed all the UI components for us, we can see there's quite a few good little things we can use, inputs, buttons, cards, badges, alerts, all that kind of good stuff. And we can also toggle the theme to see what they look like in dark mode as well. And I'm pretty pleased with that, awesome. All right, so I want to make a commit for these changes now, but before I do that, I want to change how Copilot generates the commit messages because right now it's okay, but I'd like to format the messages a little bit differently when I'm making commits. So we can customize the AI behavior of these generated commit messages by opening the command palette with Control Shift and P and then searching for settings to open the workspace settings file. When you do that, it's gonna make this new VS Code folder and a settings.json file inside it. So these settings will just apply to this project in this workspace. And now inside here, we can add a setting, which I'm just gonna paste in called github.copilot.chat.commitmessagegeneration.instructions. And the value of that is an array. Now inside that array, we can add an object and inside the object a property called text. And the value of that text property can be a string to describe how you want the commit messages to be generated. So for example, I might wanna use emojis in my commit messages. So I'm just gonna paste in this whole text string to describe that. 
And we're basically sell, uh, telling Copilot to use different emojis for different kinds of changes, plus a list of key changes made. All right, so now I can save that file and come to the version control tab and try generating a new commit message for the CSS changes we just made. And when we do that, you can see we've got that little paint palette emoji for the CSS change, plus a list of uh, key changes in the file. Awesome. So then, now I want to start work on the functionality of the site, but before we do that, I want to check out a new branch and work there instead, because if things go wrong, I don't want to mess up this main branch, which we shouldn't really be working on directly. So to do that, we can click on this branch icon down here, where it currently says main, then we'll come up and choose the create new branch icon, and I'm just going to give this one a name of shopping list. All right, so I can close this down now. Then I'm gonna start a new chat because we're working on a different feature and I'm gonna paste in a prompt that says, can you make a new shopping list on the homepage, which allows users to add new items using a text input and an add button. Users should be able to delete items from the list by clicking on a trash icon next to each list item. Use the custom UI classes from app.css to style it. Now, what I'm gonna do is explicitly add some context. So the CSS file, and also the home page. And in fact, this should be globals.css, not app.css. Then I'm going to hit send. All right, so it looks like it's done that for me on the page.tsx file. We can see the code right here. And also, if we take a look in the globals.css file, it's added some more styles as well. So I'm going to keep all these changes because they look fine to me. And in a browser, we can see that list and it's already added three items for me. So if I click on one of these, it's going to delete it. If I try adding something, then it's going to add it over here. All right, awesome. And let's see what it looks like in dark mode. Okay, so mainly okay, but these things right here, the list items, they don't update in dark mode. So maybe we'll just tell Copilot to do that for us. Okay, so I just sent another prompt that says this, the list item backgrounds remain white even in dark mode. Can you update the style of the list items in dark mode? Use the dark class specified in the CSS file to do this. It went through and it made a couple of changes and I've accepted those changes. So now let's preview again. All right, so it still looks good in light mode. Now let's try dark mode. Yeah, that looks better, awesome. All right, so now let's commit those changes by coming over to the version control panel and hitting the sparkle icon to generate a new commit message. Once it's done that, we can hit commit to make that commit. All right, so now we've used Copilot to make a new next site, create some base styles for UI components, and add in the basic shopping list functionality. Now, as you're working with Copilot, it might sometimes make changes you don't like. So it's always a good idea to preview them as you go and then just reject anything you don't want and try again with a different prompt. In my case, for this project, I would probably jump into the code myself right now and make a few small changes here and there to the styles, clean them up and make them more to my liking. Either that or I'd ask Copilot to make some additional style changes for me directly within those files using edit mode or inline edits. But sometimes I think it's quicker and simpler to just dive into the weeds myself. And that's why I think it's important to also understand the code that Copilot generates. So it is easy to jump in and make the edits myself if I want to or need to. Anyway, I'm gonna finish up by merging the new branch into the main by coming down here to select the main branch first of all, and then I can come to these three dots. I'm gonna click them come down to branch and then select merge. Then we can choose the shopping list branch to merge it into main. All right, so now we've got a decent workflow incorporating Git. We're gonna move on and talk about MCP servers in the next lesson.